What's up guys? It is Pocked. Back at it. Today's video is how to get into Blitz Season 2, Episode 1. In the series, like Sean Lowe's Season 1, I'm going to grind a level 10 from scratch on an almost brand new account. Each episode, I'll go over a different aspect of Blitz such as kits, kill effects, game sense, Blitz stars, and more. This episode, I'll just be talking about your first games and general advice. And before we get into it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy as it helps me out a lot and I appreciate it. And yeah, let's go. All right, so we are on the new account, Hypixel level 25. It's my own account. I mean, it's pretty much new. It serves as like a new account for this series. And if we go, go into uh, Blitz SG, we got 31 kills, three teams wins, and 75 coins. The kit that we are gonna be grinding to level 10 is gonna be hype train. I made sure to s I had remaining coins. I made sure to just spend it on just like random crap. But we're gonna be going for hype train 10. And yeah, this is the account. Uh, I'm not gonna let you guys know what the name is yet because I don't wanna get sniped. So I just put my name as Pucked. I'm also gonna be changing my skin every episode, like in Sean Lowell's series. This is just the skin I had on originally. I had this account for like a couple years. So yeah. All right, you're gonna see a lot of parallels in between or between Sean's series and my series. So as you know, it is Blitz Hour right now. So what Blitz Hour does essentially, it gives you two times coins, right? Which is really good for grinding. And uh, if you select random, it's gonna be a random level 10. So, you know, let's see what we get. All right, so I'm starting the series off a little bit differently. I'm gonna be discussing, you know, kits. First of all, and then I'll get to, you know, regular PvP, game sense, blitz stars in a bit. So, kits, I guess I'll just go down the list. I think it's useful to, like, know what each kit gets. Alright, so... Man, I should probably have a ward doc that, like, lists all the kits because I'm just going off of memory. Holy shit, the lag. Alright, so, Archer... Arch is still a really good kit, even though it got nerfed. Holy shit, what is happening over there? Archer, as the name suggests, it gives you a really good bow. The armor is pretty much a diamond helmet prod too, and all leather pieces. And then you get a power two bow, which is really overpowered in Blitz. Oh shit. I do not want to fight anyone because I do not have a weapon. I'm gonna see if I can go for this guy though. I don't know what my kit will be. Hunter? Actually, you know what? I'm down. So Hunter gives you splash potions of speed, which you can use like this, you know. Clap your enemies. That's pretty much Hunter. It gives pretty crap gear though, which is why I don't really like Hunter. It just gives you chain mid pieces and that's all you got. Unless you uh, loot. So that's why I don't really like Hunter. I wouldn't recommend that as a beginner. Man, I am stumbling. This is not it. How did bro hit me? That's crazy. Also, another pro tip. Do not talk while playing or do not think while playing. That will definitely mess you up. That's not the play. All right, that's pretty good. All right, so what I'm missing right now is a helmet and a rod. So that's what I'm gonna be looting for. And let's see, let's keep talking about the kits. Actually, you know what, screw that. I take it back. This, this is gonna be a pretty raw, this is gonna be pretty raw footage. I can't even lie. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about the kits next round. I guess right now I'm just talk about what you gotta be thinking of while playing. So when you're thinking, you, you kind of want to just like keep in mind of the timer. Like when you get kits, when you get star, you get kits a minute after the game starts and then you get blitz star two minutes after that. So three minutes after the game starts and you always want to be floating around mid. All right. So you see, I see a fight over here. I'm gonna go clean this. Boom. I'll put this on. All right, this guy's on 10. All right. So what I'm going to do here, low key, might try to rush him. 
I have some pretty good stuff though because I got scout pots. I'm gonna collect his eggs real quick because I don't have a rod. You gotta notice here that his kid is Shadow Knight. That's indicated by uh, the Wither Skeleton Skull on his head. And what Shadow Knight does basically is give you blindness pots. Aw, oh, dude! Dude, are we for real right now? Man. This is the corniest shit ever, bro. Someone help me, bro. God damn it. So we are back guys it's important that i keep that round in because i think a really underrated or overlooked aspect that we talk we don't talk about as much is you gotta keep your composure man like there are cheaters in this game there's gonna be bullshit that happens like that but you gotta you know just gotta let it go like it's fine that stuff like that happens it's a it's an imperfect game like that guy just got away on zero can't really do anything about it actually i'm gonna keep going for him right here i would not recommend doing this as a beginner just w keying it's like, you know, focusing people without any intention. I just do it because I'm just so used to the game and so used to PvP. So. Oh, shoot. I, so, okay, so the kit I got was Reaper. And what Reaper is, it just gives you three Wither Potions and um, some pretty decent armor. You get Prot 1, Prot 1 Iron Helmet, Prot 1 Chain Leggings. And I think, and then you get, yeah, leather, middle, and bottom pieces. Yeah, it's, it's pretty decent. It got, like, nerfed significantly since I played. Oh, God, that guy is stacked. Yeah, when playing debuff kits. Oh. Or you could just not be aware. That works, too. You always gotta be aware when looting. Someone could just pull up out of flipping nowhere. That's always scary. All right, so we're pretty stacked right now. We got pot three bottom and top pieces, and we also have mid pieces. And we have reaper pots too. Here's something important that you guys should know that when you're this stacked you shouldn't just expect a guaranteed win because in solo dms in particular there's always usually going to be three people and since you're the most stacked you're going to be targeted you're just going to get cross teamed on essentially and even though that's technically against the rules like it's not enforced and plus it's the smartest thing to do so always keep that in mind usually what i do in these three player dms is like half commit that's always like what I like to do, no matter who you are, whether you're the most stack person, the least stack person, half commit, like start a fight and then back off, see what happens. You know, if you half commit, you don't always, you know, get low and you might be able to deal a lot of damage. So you see that person made the mistake of spying his blazes because then like that immediately causes a threat. I see that they're actually chasing each other. I'm gonna focus this guy real quick. I'm gonna catch him off guard. I'm gonna wither pot him. You see how, you see now he's focusing me. Boom. Boom. So, what I did there essentially was just full send one guy, back off, let the other guy do whatever, and then clean. That's essentially it. All right, let's go into the, yeah, let's go into the next game.
we're gonna play the last game of the video with hype train one and just to show you the kit editor you go to kit customizer and you can just like swap around where everything is and such so you know it's really easy oh always make sure to auto equip your armor because that would suck if you didn't and then boom i like my compass at two and then my weapon at one and then my rod at three but that's just me but feel free to edit however you want and yeah let's get into the next game with hype train one will probably be the first and last game of hype train one one in specific on these videos because we got some coins from the games and i'm gonna be upgrading this kit because hype train one is fucking horrible so you want to loot for a rod a stone sword some xp levels so that you can enchant the stone sword get a sharp sharp one on that and then get whatever armor pieces that you need for your kit I'm playing Hype Train 1. I need all of these things. So, yeah. Actually, I'm down to fight this. Yo, what's good? Oh my god, bro. You always gotta be aware of the timers, like I said before. Also, knows the guy behind. I didn't find the stone on that mid, bro. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, this blood star is always corny. This is 30 seconds, so my three out. Okay, well, GG's. Actually, I actually got some pretty decent stuff from that. I'll take it. Law. What the hell, dude? Oh shit. I'm low key like dead. Power one, the bow. Yeah, one enchanting. Alright. W key, what it do? You know, sometimes I'd refrain from W king, but. Yes, sir. All right, well, yeah, that's going to be the last round of the video. I'll catch you guys in the outro. All right, guys, that is the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.
Share drunk is it the paper, the moolah, the haters, the rumors, the leaked news of me and your shorty and Kama Sutra. I might just shoot you, guns blazing, my little Ruger. It's not a blooper. In the Honda, I just maneuver.